What is up, my pretties? It's the Lion Queen here. Welcome to episode 224 of Shadows and Pretties. And today we are going to be reviewing another uh, Christmas special. Now, today in this Christmas special is, um, well, this story called, well, not story, but it's a Christmas special that came out sometime in 2003 called A Very Possible Christmas. Now, this episode is from, well, Kim Possible. Most of you guys know who, uh, what Kim Possible is. You know, most of you guys who grew up in the early 2000s and that should know who Kim Possible is. I mean, I'm sure everybody knows who Kim Possible is, so. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, this is a pretty good special. I used to read it. I used to watch Kim Possible as a kid, like, e ever since I was a young child. I've always enjoyed watching Kim Possible as a kid. And I always really enjoyed watching um, this special, especially during the holidays. You know, during Christmas time where everybody's all excited for the holidays, etc. This one's got really good acting. And even though Kim Possible's like 20 years old. Because, you know, the show came around 2002 or 2003. I, I can't really remember. But this is um, an episode from season two for any of you guys who are wondering. And the Disney Channel U.S. premiere mirror was around sometime on the 5th of December of 2003. Of course, it did air on Toon Disney, and even it aired on some of the Disney channels. So most of you guys know who um, Kim Possible is. So basically, I am going to go with the storyline, kind of explain about what this is about. And anyways, um, this I'm going to basically review this just so... In case a few people who have not seen this episode in a really long time would like a, you know, refresher. Well, I have um, decided to do that. Now, since um, Rascal Entertainment's actually asked people what their favorite cartoon special is, and I mentioned A Very Possible Christmas, and she said that it was one of her favorites too. So if she watches this, she'll probably see that. And I mean, that'd be awesome if she did. But like I said... Let me get with this episode, episode, so that way everybody who is wondering about, um, well, who is everybody who has not seen this episode yet, you can watch the full mo episode of this on YouTube, and yes, it is on YouTube for any of you guys who are wondering, where that are wondering, is this on YouTube? Ah, uh, yes it is, and I think you can get this on DVD, on a Kim Possible DVD, but yeah, I don't really know where you can get them because you can't find them in stores because of how old it is but who knows maybe they'll do a re-release of it so basically this is where the possible family household get everything ready for the christmas for christmas especially nana possible who gets involved despite the fact that she is jewish so ron also enjoys celebrating christmas with the possible family and of course he watches this christmas christmas special a, that is called The Six Tasks of Snowman Hank. However, this year, the Christmas special was canceled and was replaced with Winter Extreme Sports Special called Extreme Xmas, and Ron gets very devastated until eventually Kim cheers him up by giving him an early Hanukkah present. So during Kim and Kim's Christmas caroling and etc., Wade beeps in to say that she goes stole oh, a certain battery for Draken so he could take over the world in a rocket called... Drac, Drac Force One. What Draken didn't realize is that Shigo had made her own vacation plans, fair by leaving Draken to take over the world on his own, seeking to give Kim a better gift than from some Bueno Nacho coupons. Ron, however, decides to let her spend Christmas with the family, and he decides to try to stop Dr. Draken himself. But managing to get on the boat to the captain to give a ride to Draken's lair, Ron eventually breaks in more easily than he expects, and though... He manages to take the battery from the rocket when it's launched, but he gets caught by Draken. They eventually fight over it, and however, during the fight, Draken and Ron crush the communicator, launch all the escape pods, and ended up getting themselves in the self-destruct mode. Out of desperation, Draken suggests that they use a garbage disposal as an escape pod, and then they come to landing in the Arctic. So where Ron and Draken blame each other for getting them stranded, they have arguments... 
that leads into a lot of, well, you know, a lot of back and forth verbal altercation. So, yeah. Draken decides to call Shigo, who's dead, whose disinterests in that because she wanted some time at the beach resort. And, however, Draken instead leaves a message in her voicemail, but not before finding Ron rummaging for the trash or food that he wants. And the food people started fighting. However, as the Possibles were performing the Christmas skit, a parcel delivery man knocks on the door with a present from Kim. The present turns out to be a new communicator from Wade, which he urges her to open early. Wade eventually reveals that Draken was plotting to take over a world and explained that Ron had decided to try and stop him on his own. But the escape pods from Draken's rocket are scattered throughout the globe. So Kim cuts her holiday short and desperately tries to go and find him. The first pod is in London, which she found that by the Nekuzami and Miss Kuyo. They were greeted by the London de Police Department, but Ron is nowhere to be found. So the same goes for the Mediterranean Sea, nondescript mountain range, the deserts of Egypt, and the last one was at the Amazon rainforest, where Kim learns that the distress signal is where it's coming from. So at this point, the only things that are keeping her from reaching the pod are the river, high tree, and anaconda that nearly strangles her, much to her surprise and embarrassment. The family then comes to her rescue. While Kim continues to find Ron, Jim and Tim borrow the communicator to watch Extreme Xmas as Kim finally enters the pod, last pod, where she finds that the stress signal is merely a monkey randomly playing with the buttons. So Kim, Draken negotiates with Ron over the half-eaten chicken leg, and Rufus suggests trading his cell phone for it. As Ron made his emergency phone call, he and Draken face a polar bear. They eventually flee back. However, though, Draken, who quickly pulled Ron away from the bear and back into the garbage pod, so the bear pushes them off a cliff, and they survive but continue to argue. During the argument, Draken reveals that, like Ron, too, he's a huge fan of Snowman Hank. But when Ron informs him that it's cancelled, he takes the news almost as hard as Ron did at Kim's house, if not harder. So both vow to keep the memory of the Christmas special alive. Meanwhile, on the previous night at the beach resort, a cabinana boy offers Shigo some perks, claims that a gentleman offered to pay for her vacation. He gives her the message it turns out to be Draken. She checks the voice message Draken had left earlier, then heads to North. However, Shigo then barges into the live broadcast broadcast of Extreme Xmas, steals a snowboard from the extreme sports athlete, and pursuing after Dr. Draken. The host, too, is impressed by her extreme ness, so he gets his crew to go and follow her. However, just as Kim was given up on all hope on finding being Ron, Jim and Tim informs her that Shigo is on the extreme Xmas tracking down Dr. Draken at the North Pole. So the Possibles take off again, but this time for the frozen North, to find Ron before Shigo does. Kim and Shigo fight it out on the jet-powered snowboards as they were being televisualized worldwide. Kim runs into a snowman modeled after Hank and quickly finds Rufus and Ron at the building of it. Shigo and Kim continue to fight each other and the Extreme Xmas host tries to exploit their battle for entertainment purposes. But Draken breaks up the fight and invites them over for Christmas dinner where this is one where Kim kisses Ron on the cheek under the substitute for mistletoe. One of the possible, none of the possibles nor Shigo know what to make of the situation. However, they decide to all go along with it anyway. However, Draken cheerfully vows to end the truce at, after the new year and open up a bag of freak on all of them. But for the time being, the heroes and villains make a like sing to the theme to the sixth task of Snowman Hank in the celebration of the holidays. Now, that's at, and that's how it ends. What a really great story. I'm not going to really like. I always really thought it was a pretty good um, special, especially for Kim Possible. I know um, a lot of um, Disney cartoons like Kim Possible and that, they have done at least Christmas specials and that. So I actually loved watching this special when I was a kid. I mean, when I was a kid, I, I was really obsessed with Kim Possible back then. I I'm still do because even though I'm an adult... I'm like going to be 25 next year and I'm going to be a quarter of a century next year. Holy shit. But I mean, 
I personally thought it was a really good story. I mean, the storyline was good, and I liked the animation and that. I mean, even though this was made in the early 2000s, it's still a really good special. And I know for a fact that Voy Space Voyager likes um, Kim Possible, so I have a feeling he may find this out and possibly comment, it, comment on it, but I'm not too sure. But that, like I said, he doesn't really comment on my stuff because I understand he's busy in that. But yeah, if he's watching this, I hope he, you know, I hope he kind of will remember if he watched this special because I I know for a fact he, he likes Kim Possible. So yeah, with the whole thing of its own self, I actually recommend watching this special if you haven't. I know it's on YouTube, and you can watch the whole episode on YouTube, but if you were a kid and you grew up watching TV like I did, you personally will remember watching this show when you were a kid, like I did. I was a young kid, and I loved it, and I think it's a really good special. I don't know if it's on Disney+, Plus, if Kim Possible's on Disney+, Plus or not, but uh, that's because I don't have Disney+. Plus. If, if it's there, please comment and let me know. If it's not there, I really do hope... Honest to God that that does happen in the future. I mean, the Snowman Hank um, special, I thought it was really cool. I mean, that they included that. Which, I don't know if Snowman Hank um, special was inspired by a different cartoon or something to make a spoof out of it in Kim Possible. But maybe somebody can let me know in the comments below. Because I personally would like to, to hear what you guys think. I honestly really gotta say, I mean, when I watched this for the first time as an adult in years, I'm like... Holy hell, I was a young kid when this came out. Like, I was probably a kid, most likely a kid, when this came out. So, yeah. I mean, I used to I used to love this special as a kid, and I still do. I personally thought it was really nice with the animation. The, um... Basically, the whole thing of its own self was pretty good. I mean, the part where Draken and Ron having verbal outbursts at each other. I mean, I, I thought that was funny. But I also did find it really interesting with the whole concept and everything. I honestly really liked it. So with that being the case and that being said, I thought it was really perfect, especially for the for the for the special for Kim Possible. I mean, yeah, it's I thought it was cute too. I mean, it was cute at times, and there were some parts where I thought it was really nice, like sweet, like especially with. When Kim kissed Ron under the mistletoe, or kind of substitute for it, but yeah. Other than that, I found it was really cute. It's really nice too. I like like this special. So, anyways, um, yeah, it is on YouTube. Like I said before, if you guys want to watch it, feel free to. So, with that being the case, and that being said, um, yeah, this is just simply my own personal opinion. And if you happen to disagree with me on this special, that's fine too. We're all entitled to our own opinions in regards to these specials. This is just simply my own personal thoughts. If you don't like this special of Kim Possible or whatever, that's perfectly fine. I respect your opinion. And speaking of which, I don't think I ever did a Shadows and Pretties episode of the whole Kim Possible series yet. But if I didn't, I'm going to have to maybe put a mental note to do that sometime. Time, But that's going to be whenever I do decide to have the time to do so. So with that being the case and that being said, um, yeah, if you like this special, let me know. And if you don't like it, that's fine too. Um, it is on YouTube for any of you guys who want to know. It is on YouTube. You guys can watch it. And I've actually just recently watched it um, the other day. It's still a good special from what I do remember. And I recommend you guys all check it out if you haven't. It's a really good special. And I guarantee you now, you are not going to be disappointed. So anyways, uh, with that being the case and that being said, um, yeah, what did you guys personally think of this special? Did you like it? Did you not? Also, what we have done personally to help make this story a lot better? Feel free to leave me what your thoughts are down in the comments below because I personally would like to hear what you all liked. To, what you all liked. Like, so, yeah. Anyways, um, yeah. What did you guys think? Feel free to leave me your thoughts in the comments below. I'm the Lion Queen. Thank you so much for watching today's episode, and if you're new to my channel, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications to when I upload, so that way you guys will not miss an upload. And as always, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.